Hello, this is David Quartiers for the Arduino team, and I'm here today to show you one example using the GSM GPRS shield. The shield looks like this, and like this. This shield that we developed together with Telefonica Digital is designed to be plugged to your Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, or Arduino Leonardo, in case you have one. Here, we have everything connected together with a SIM card. You will need a SIM card for this to work. Let's plug it to the board. And of course, you're going to need a phone if you want to try out any of the experiments that you can do over the GSM connection. We turn on the Arduino IDE and check into examples. GSM make voice call. The first example we are going to do is to set up a voice call between the GSM shield and the phone. Like almost all the examples for this library, everything you need to do is to interact with the board to the serial port monitor that will be asking you for the phone numbers or text messages or whatever you need to send over the ESM network. Once the program has been uploaded to the board, the only thing you need to do is to open the serial port monitor in order to start interacting with it. Remember to set up the new line option because it's what the shield will be using to determine that you finish typing in string. For the first minute or so, the shield is going to be connecting to the ESM network. So you need to wait before you will get any other requests from it in order to interact with it. Now, the ESM network has been initialized and we get the chance to start typing a phone number we want to call to. Let's press send. And this will be set up, set up a call to the shield. So as you see, right now, I'm calling from my shield to my phone. If I answer the call on the serial port monitor, you're gonna see that the call has been established and I can actually, I could actually talk from my phone to the shield. The only thing is that we haven't connected a speaker on the shield to be able to listen to the call. I can stop the call from both ends. I will stop the call from the shield by pressing enter on the serial port monitor. And this got the call to an end. That's it. So now that we saw how we can set up a call from the shield to a phone, we're going to try out the opposite way. We'll make a call from a phone to the shield. For that, we have yet another example on the Arduino ID. You just need to go to File, Examples, GSM, Receive uh, Voice Call. This example, what we'll be doing is to set up the GSM connection and put the shield to wait for a call. And when a call is received, it will be informing you over the serial port monitor on the different stages of the call. You can actually interact with the serial port monitor to answer the call from the line on the monitor. Now the program has been uploaded. We just need to open the serial port monitor. The program will start and it will be taking some time to connect to the GSM network. And once it is connected to the GSM network, it will inform us and from that moment on we can start calling to the shield. So while the program loads I will just interact with my phone in order to set up a call back to the shield as we have it configured. So I'm now calling the shield. I will turn on the speaker so we hear it. And as you can see on the airport monitor the shield is automatically answering this call and I just need to press enter here to interrupt the call. That was the end of the call interacting from the shield on the phone. Let's do it again. Let's call the shield again and this time we'll hang the call from the phone instead. So we make a new call. The call arrives to the, to the shield. The shield tells us that we are talking and we just end up the call and hang the call. 
and that's it. So now we saw two examples on how to use the Arduino GSM shield to both set calls and get calls over the GSM network. This was the BitQuarty AS for the Arduino team. Follow us on our next example on how to connect to the internet. Thank you.